How's it going? It's Eric with Colby, and I have some tips for those of you that have a seven through 10 in Fact Finder. The first is be precise. If someone gives you an answer like 50-ish, don't accept it. You know, say 47, 53. Same thing if you're answering, don't give answers such as 75-ish. It can be 73.2756. That's perfect. Be as precise as possible. That's leaning into one of your natural talents. Another thing that you should be doing is correcting errors, right? If you spot a comma in the wrong place, a misspelling, numbers just don't look right, recalculate them, go through that and correct those errors. That's a gift that you have that you can give to the world. Last thing you need to start doing is question frequently. If something doesn't make sense, if it doesn't just add up in your head, that's okay. Ask a couple of clarifying questions so you can get to the heart of the matter and you can say, ah, yes, I've got it. So those are the do's that you should be doing if you have a seven through 10 in Fact Finder. Let's go to the opposite side. Some of the things you should stop doing are some of the don'ts. First is give yes or no answers. Hey, should we do this? A common answer for seven through 10s in Fact Finder is, it it depends and that's totally okay because based on a number of variables the answer very well could depend and so it's okay for you not to give yes or no answers another thing not to do is answer off the top of your head hey bill what do you think about this if that happens take a few minutes right take a few moments at least catch your breath think through some of the scenarios some of the what ifs things that could happen it's okay to ask and say hey give me a couple of minutes to do some more digging on this and then i'll come back to you so Hopefully these tips helped you. For those of you that have a seven through 10 in Fact Finder, I'm Eric with Colby.